This particular inequality problem has appeared in both the ISI entrance and also in some uh, math olympiads across the world. Uh, it, it, it uses uh, AMGM inequality uh, but in a little clever manner there is another condition that is a plus b equal to 1. So we will talk about this but first let's look at the let's look at the uh, expression we want to show that a plus 1 over a and b plus 1 over b uh, squaring both of them and then adding them up makes it larger than 25 over 2 which is approximately 12.5 well actually exactly 12.5 okay and what are the conditions the conditions are that uh, a is greater than 0 b is greater than 0 and certainly a plus b is equal to 1 um, the inequality that is at play here and we discussed this uh, in the inequality module at Chinta uh, link in the description will take you there so uh, what this uh, fundamentally uses is something called the AMGM inequality if you are in calcul if you if you have done some calculus or if you have done some algebra inequalities play a very vital role in um, all of these things and what is AMGM or arithmetic mean geometric mean inequality so AM means arithmetic mean which basically is the average of the numbers so suppose if you have numbers a1 up to a n then arithmetic mean of them or a m is simply you add them up a1 up to a n and you divide by n that's what arithmetic mean is and then we have the geometric mean so uh, geometric mean is you take again you have numbers a1 up to a n but this time you take the product of the numbers from a1 up to a n and you raise it to the power 1 over n so this is gm now or the geometric mean so let me write that geometric mean now there are plenty to say here and uh, this is this particular video is not the right place to say them but there are many beautiful interpretations of both AM GM inequality and uh, what they actually could mean in the context of geometry let's say so we can sort of connect geometry with algebra here very nicely uh, I'll show you one thing but before even I go there I'll say the exact statement of AMGM inequality and I will not try to prove it here because uh, well the purpose of this video is the problem not the proof of the inequality so a1 up to a n that is the arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to the geometric mean and uh, we assume that all the AIs are greater than zero so if everything is positive uh, then this happens okay now uh, actually we could even manage by non-negative yeah okay now the point is this that um, this particular inequality has many geometric significances one of them is this one so if you take two values let's say a and let me use a different color let's say b two lengths a and b then of course the length of this line or this segment is a plus b so if that is a plus b the length of this segment and if we draw a circle and let me use a milder color for that if we draw a circle with this a plus b segment as a diameter so if we draw a circle like this and if we erect a perpendicular at this point of intersection let's call it m let's call this x y and this is z then it's possible to prove using simple geometric argument that m z is precisely a times b raised to the power half which is a geometric mean 
of A and B. And if you look at the center, this is O suppose, and if you erect the radius, let's suppose this point is R, then OR, the length of OR is A plus B over 2, which is equal to half of this entire length XY. So in some sense, radius is the longest half chord that is what AMGM inequality is all about in the geometric sense. So you have to think a little bit more about this. This actually uh, should be a part of a larger discussion and it is in fact in our Math Olympiad or ISI entrance program. But nevertheless, uh, coming back to this problem where we will be using the AMGM inequality, uh, let's uh, let me go to a new board and we will be able to look into it. So, so what we will do is we will expand the expression. So a square plus 2 times a times 1 over a plus 1 over a square plus b square plus 2 times b over 1 b times 1 over b plus 1 over b square. So this is the expansion of the expression that we started off with. So this was the expression that we are starting off with and we want to show that it is greater than or equal to 25 over 2 or 12.5. So what we did is we expanded this up and now you can pause the video, use the hint that you have to use AMGM inequality and give it a try. Okay. All right. So uh, off the bat, we can cancel off this B and B and A and A and we have a square plus 1 over a square plus b square plus 1 over b square and we have 2 from here and we have 2 from here so 4. All we need to show then is that this part this portion is greater than 8.4.5 uh, um, uh, sorry 8.5 if this if we can show that this part is greater than or equal to 8.5 then the entire thing will be greater than or equal to 12.5 so maybe you can try it now okay so we have to remember we also have to use the fact that b is equal to 1 minus a or uh, or uh, a plus b is equal to 1 now, if you try to manipulate this, you will face some sort of a problem. I mean, you will not be able to do this very easily. In fact, the manipulations can go round and round and you will never hit the exact target. So what we will do is we will play a trick. We will come back to this original expression, the one that we had, and do a replacement, a substitution. And that is, we will replace this 1 up here by a plus b. Because remember, we know that a plus b is equal to 1. Right? So this is not the uh, first thing that will come to your mind, but this is a trick that will be uh, very useful in solving this problem. So let's try this. So what we will do is we'll come back to the original expression and replace this one by a plus b. So what do we have? We have a plus a plus b over a whole square, b plus a plus b over b whole square. Now expand it. So you see, you can do one thing. You can uh, expand it inside the parentheses a little bit. So a by a is 1 and b by a whole square. And similarly here we have b plus a by b plus 1 whole square. Now expand it out uh, as you would do in a normal algebra problem. And you will have a square plus b square over a square plus 1 plus 2a plus 2b over a plus 2b and similarly this one will have will be 
plus b square plus a square by b square plus 1 plus 2b plus 2a over b plus 2a. So this, this is coming from the fact that we have 2 times b over 1 over a over b. So this b cancels and we have 2a. And similarly we had this 2b uh, before. So you can now do the manipulations and, and you, see, you can see how it is happening. Okay, now we will be using AMGM inequality. So the way we will use it is like this, that we will be using the fact that sum of reciprocals is always greater than or equal to 2. It's a very handy thing to remember. It derives directly from AMGM inequality as we will see in a moment. But in general, if you think about it, a number and its reciprocal, if you add them, they will always be greater than or equal to zero. And there is more than one way to think about this. We will use AMGM inequality, but there is a very beautiful way to think about this without AMGM inequality, which we cannot discuss here because we don't have time for that but in this video. But uh, certainly in the inequality lecture, we, we can cover that. Okay, so coming back to this one, b squared by a squared plus a squared by b squared. Let's look into this one. These two are reciprocals of each other. So we will apply AMGM inequality here. So b squared by a squared plus a squared by b squared divided by 2. That's their arithmetic mean or average. That's greater than or equal to b squared by a squared times a squared by b squared square root. Now you see, this two cancels off and this becomes exactly 1. And that's true for any two numbers which are reciprocals of each other. Whenever you multiply them, they become 1. So let's, uh, let's go to another board actually. So we have b squared by a squared plus a squared by b squared divided by 2 is greater than or equal to 1 raised to the power half, which is just 1. So you can just take the 2 upstairs and you're done. So with any two numbers which are reciprocals of each other, this inequality will hold and directly from A and J inequality. Okay, now let's go back to this one, the expansion that we earlier found and in this expansion, what we have, we have this, this particular two numbers which are reciprocals of each other. So this is greater than or equal to 2, this thing inside the round oval. Similarly, if you look at this, if you take a 2 common, it will be b over a plus a over b. Again, sum of reciprocals. So 2 times, so this quantity inside the parentheses is again greater than 2. So this is greater than or equal to 2 times 2 because this 2 remains and this is greater than or equal to 2. So uh, that's 2 times 2. Okay, that's 4. This portion is 2 times a plus b which is exactly equal to 2 because a plus b is 1. So you have 2 plus 4, 6 plus 2, 8. Now we also have two ones. which is um, 2 again, so 10, and we have 2 times a plus b, which is equal to 2, because uh, a plus b is 1. So the only, so, so you found up to 12, the only thing that is left out is a square plus b square. So this particular thing in the very, at the very beginning of this, expression. So you can do this calculation on your own. All we need to show that a square plus b square that we have here is certainly greater than one half, 0 0.5. Can you do that? With the condition that a plus b is equal to 1, can you show that a square plus b square will exceed uh, half? So this is a very simple uh, last step 
uh, I uh, give it to you as a challenge problem and maybe you can come up with it and if you have one send it to the um, send, send it to us by, by email uh, at helpdesk at chinta.com I'll see you in the next video and till then keep on solving great problems